First it was the Hunfest controversy, and now Hamden Fest. Canceled. People are bummed. All the vendors that they had, and so on and so forth. I mean, it just, it just worked right. And now that it's canceled, I mean, a lot of vendors are going to lose money. This is an amazing neighborhood, so they shouldn't cancel this because of uh, our skip. Organizers say they could not find a viable second date available for this year. They say the city said they did not have enough resources to pull off Artscape and events like Hamden Fest. The event is sponsored by the Hamden Village Merchants Association and the Hamden Community Council. It was very important to local businesses. It is so tragic that they picked the same weekend that Hamden Fest was planning to do their festival. And we're a small neighborhood community. Um, Hamden Fest really focuses on local businesses. You know, as a new business owner in this area, I am very upset about it. It shouldn't be canceled. It's good for this neighborhood. It's good for the people who love it. Many businesses say it's a big money maker for them. The Baltimore Office of Promotion and the Arts issued this statement to 11 News. We're reaching out to the organizers of Hamden Fest and understand their reasons for delaying this year's event due to Artscape and the several other events that will coincide with that weekend. We offer our full support to the organizers. I don't think it's right. Lisa Robinson, WBAL TV 11 News. All right, Lisa, thank you. And now new at five, we are hearing right now from Mayor Brandon Scott's office tonight about these developments. A spokesperson for his office tells 11 News, quote, we were disappointed to hear the news of Hamden Fest decision as was relayed to them through the permitting office at the time. We remain eager to work with the organizers to see if there is a viable path forward. <music>